Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Esther Moffrey. Uh, in today's video, I just want to speak a uh, heart-to-heart -heart conversation. I know majority of you, you have been following me here on YouTube and you love what I do, you love how I teach. I've had so many people telling me that Esther, how you teach Forex, I am now understanding. Let me tell you the secret for what is behind, what does what is this that keep me pushing forward? How do I do this? And it comes out easy when other people are teaching and it is difficult. Let me tell you, it's about um, gifting and calling because if God did not give me the gift of teaching and if God did not give me the gift of um, the gift of the call, I will not even be here because I have come to realize Forex. Many people understand Forex but they don't understand it to explain to someone else. There are two types of people when they are learning Forex trading. There's a guru. Guru is someone who will understand, but they cannot explain to you exactly what they do. Yes, they are making money. They cannot even exactly tell you, but they, this is what I see to buy. Then they will just buy and they make money. If you follow them, you, you lose them, they make money. There are people like those. And there are people like us who are professional uh, trainers. We can tell you step by step. And I believe there are so many people who are here on YouTube that you can follow and start following their footsteps and make money. So in this video, I just want to reflect the things that I have done differently that have made me a good trader. And looking back, I started Forex in back in 2020, looking back and seeing how my life has really um turn to be like I can say when you know these things like there are things that you can tell that when I started to change this and I started to know this and I know this concept and this and this has really made me a good trader guys and these are the concepts that majority of people will not mention or they know but they feel that they are not important so this video if you really want to know where my turning point was this is the, I know it's a long introduction but this is exactly my turning point my turning point number one to be a, a a forex trader and number two to be able to train because once you understand yourself God can trust you more if he knows you will be able to train a multitude a crowd he'll be able to help people to rise up and to make forex as they are as they are every day like source of income so me, I'm so grateful to God, uh, number one. Like, uh, I'm almost hitting five years in trading. Oh my goodness, it has been a long journey. And every time I look back and I always say, if I was starting and there was an Esther Mofri, like if there was an Esther Mofri that I was following, what I post, if that's what the content that I took, maybe I'll be far, I don't know. Because when we were beginning, let me tell you, we didn't have this many people professionals who are now training when back in 2020 when it was covid time we didn't have many people who are training us we just uh, would watch this and then we watch this person and the concept was so hard but i thank god that god has given me the knowledge to simplify it to you so if you're watching me right now i want to tell you this is a message okay from god directly that you have to, first of all to trust in God and you have to put all your trust in God. The Bible says, trust God with all your heart, with all your mind and with all, all your understanding. And then there are some, some scriptures you need to meditate every day. You need first to say, I have the mind of Christ. I know Forex might be like seems so hard, but you need to repeat these words like I have the mind of Christ. I know I have the mind of Christ. Forex is easy. It is simple. And I will be able to comprehend everything that A. Esther Mofri and other trainers are putting out there. And then you can say there's this scripture I like that Jesus has become our wisdom. And also in the book of James, we are being told if you lack wisdom, ask God. So sometimes many people come to me and they approach me and they ask me, what is this that you do differently? Me, I'm maybe I'm 50 years, I'm 40 years, I'm 35 years. Will I be able to understand because this Forex is for people who are fresh from high school, fresh from college, will I be able to understand? And my every time I tell them, Forex 
is a wisdom that has been hidden. It's like a mystery. If you ask God, he will surely give you that. He will surely give you that. So the things that I have done mostly uh, and the concept is, is relating. And, and, and this was a mind blowing, guys. Number one, relating that uh, Forex, that, that concept that Forex is spiritual. You know, when you tell people Forex is spiritual, they may not understand, but Forex is very, very spiritual. Because remember, uh, I came to realize that when God says, I will give you the treasures of the hidden place, the hidden place basically means uh the darkness the world that you you don't have information you don't have wisdom like i i remember back in 2020 2019 2018 i used even to I, I i was struggling i didn't have money to put food on the table was hard and yet there was a market that had six trillion dollars that the volume that is traded every single day i would have i would have gone tried my like try my luck learn and become uh, very skillful so that I can start earning money. But you see, when that information is hidden from you, you don't know. So majority of you, even who you're watching me, you are suffering just because Forex is hidden, is a hidden mystery for you. The enemy knows once he opens up once he opens up this knowledge hey you will you will have a breakthrough so that was my number one thing like uh to understand that this forex is spiritual like guys this forex is spiritual how many times have i asked god to give me the knowledge how many times have i cried how many times have i fasted have i prayed have i read the word because i'm going to the church i cannot see anything because it is a hidden mystery once you understand once you ex accept that forex is a hidden mystery that you need an upper an, an upper level anytime you see a forex trader who is driving big cars big homes and they are doing okay you don't know the spirit behind you don't know who is pushing them it can be god or other spirits so when you say but this person doesn't uh he's not born again he doesn't believe in god but he's doing okay but do you know there are other spirits that give people power so don't judge because this person is not born again and they are doing okay as long as in, in, in our lives, what I, I would say, everyone is what they obey to. So it might be not the God that we all believe. It may be your God, but <clears throat> sorry, but there's what you're believing in. So that concept alone really changed my mind, like Forex is spiritual. And that is the time I started telling, the Bible says that there's, there's the power that will come upon you when the Holy Spirit is is in you they, and i started to meditate on that i, I speak in tongues i talk in tongues and, and and i pray a lot and i believe the holy spirit is in me so why am i not still under, not understanding is this power that is in me the bible says remember the bible says that god is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you think or imagine through the power that is in work in me so i was thinking if they ha there's a power in work in me i can do exceedingly i can be able to crack the code i can be able to say by the way i can make a thousand dollars every day with the market something that used to be like uh i don't know like a dream and the the income that i make with forex trading it's mind-blowing and i all oh, glory to god because if it was me alone i had tried a whole year trading by my own knowledge by my own mind and it was not possible so the trading concept one of the trading concepts that i would tell you to really look out of is god Put God in it and you'll be able to see. The other the other thing, concept, and I want to share, let me share my screen because that concept is a mind-blowing concept. So this concept, uh, uh, the trading concept, I uh, will tell you it's two things that I came to realize that we have something we call current, current resistance. and current support. Let me tell you, this is the concept that even changed more, like current support. And I remember when I agreed, Holy Spirit now become my mentor, teach me, let me know where I'm going wrong. This is what the Holy Spirit gave me. And initially, I used to, initially, I used to mark my zones like this. Let me show you how I used to analyze. Initially, this is, I'm telling you that the concept of current resistance and current support is a mind blowing. So initially, I used to, I used to mark my zone like this. So if I would open my chart, 
I would I would look at this chart and and mark my lowest support and mark my highest resistance. So that's what I used I used to trade and then I would look at the area the market has really touched. So I would say why is this area touched so many times? So the market is touched one and then the market is like here they attempted but they didn't so you can i can even put like that so that i have two attempts i can say that is the area and then i have a third area like this and you can see it has been retested so i'll be glued to these zones and i will start saying no the market has to come here that's how i used to trade guys and then when the holy spirit corrected me and told me esther you are so so into the past market why don't you concentrate only on current resistance and current support why don't you just concentrate on what is happening don't try to concentrate on things that are not happening so i changed how i used to trade and i started to concentrate on two things so from this from uh convincing my brain that this market has to drop here to now analyzing this way if i open my chart I only need to spot a current support and a current resistance. I need only to support to spot green followed by red. That is my current support and my current resistance. And I will observe this market whichever direction it will break for me to apply my strategy. So you can imagine that concept alone changed everything. I would really struggle. Like for me, I didn't understand that... Um, that we can have something called current resistance. So this is now how I trade. This is the new concept. For instance, if at all I had something like this, uh, let's say the market is there where it is right now, uh, how I would trade again, I will never concentrate on current resistance. Again, I will come my highest resistance. You see, I'm so like, it's like I'm drawing away from what the, the most information is. So I will, I will, I will be looking at highest and then I will look at the lowest and then I will start thinking, oh, this market is a downtrend. So if this market is a downtrend like that, and I have uh, this is a channel. So it's like, like, I, I don't know even how I used to trade and I, he, it was so bad. Or sometimes you say, uh, the market has um, has this support. It has to come because this support turned to be a resistance. You see, this support turned, this resistance turned to be a support. So this market must come here. That's how I used to trade, guys. And let me tell you, the 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 turning around is when I understood focusing on current resistance and current support can really change how you trade. If you're watching me right now and you have been wondering, how do people make money in Forex? Majority will not tell you, but I'm here to tell you, just focus on current resistance and current support. Leave alone all these trying and hoping, a trading hope. So come here and say, how is resistance created? That is even another thing to even know how resistance is created. Resistance is created when a green candle is followed by a red candle. That is basically the first information that even was a light bulb, like it just light my mind. So now I understand resistance, what how it is formed. Initially, I knew resistance is the highest and support is the lowest. I could not even tell that at the lowest point, I would have a resistance. Nowhere, nowhere I would ever think that I can have resistance below, like here. I knew resistance starts to form above. So in such a case, as long as I have a green candle followed by red, here you can see as long as i have green followed by red this is my resistance and you can see immediately that resistance was broken the market went breaking resistance you can see it went breaking new resistance and that's how you know the market has changed the 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 direction so that concept alone really changed to know that resistance can be still on the downside so here uh, I have shown you what is resistance and how it's created. So here I have my current resistance. So this being my current resistance, the green followed by red is my current resistance and the red followed by green is my current support. So in such a case, I am so glued to know if the market breaks either of the side, at least I know 
currently that's what the market wants to do you see if they break below fine but you see i'm not trying to trade past market past market you will waste a lot of time okay so at the end of the day once i mark my current resistance the market breaks like this even if i say this is the zone that the market was uh, playing around maybe the take profit will be that area like something something like that you see at the end of the day i was the, what i know now it is so easy sometimes even it it feels like it's not the truth like the market just moves smoothly and that is 130 pips and as you're waiting for the market to hit it hits the take profit how is it is that just understanding current resistance, current support. Even here, let's say you you are trading. This is what you're trading. And you open your chart. And uh, and this is the last thing I will say, by the way. When you open your chart here, you can see if you if you if you focus, this is my current resistance, and my current support is here. So I have this. This is an area where either the market can break above. Or can break below. So I am I'm, I'm not confused because I know either way I will see my market breaking. But you see, if you come here and start saying, oh, the market, the resistance broke. Now we are going this distance. We, we, we will have to go to the next resistance. This is the next resistance. The market, ah, that one, I'm telling you, you will waste a lot of time. Because dealing with past market is the hardest. So once you do something like that, what now you have is current resistance. So you'll be observing for any changes to happen. So the market starts to come down. You can see the market starts to come down. What is happening? Because the concept is always picking the current resistance, current support. We now have a new current support. You cannot stay here because you, you marked your support. That is something I didn't understand, guys. I would stick with my supports where I place them. There is a place where you remove your supports and you're like, no, I've removed my support. And once that current support is created, you can see how the market is ranging. So if you say, oh, current support has been broken, maybe the market is going this distance. For instance, I'm just saying, I'm not saying this is the strategy, but you won't be badly off when you trade it this way. And sometimes it may, it may hit your TP, it may not. It you see, it has, it has exactly hit the TP. Sometimes it will hit the TP. Sometimes if it doesn't, you will be able to be introduced a new strategy. So what I can tell you guys is that when I realized that, let me stop sharing. When I realized that the um when I realized that Forex is spiritual and I need more knowledge from God. And when God told me, concentrate on what is happening. Don't concentrate on the noise. And that's how salvation is. When you get born again, it is your soul, everything in you that gets born again. But the world doesn't care. The world still continues to do what it does. But you, you have got born again. So if you say, but people are drinking, but people are doing this, but people are doing bad things, but people don't go to church, you are now concentrating with outside world and you might lose the, the reason for you getting born again. So anytime I am trading, I take trading so personally and so spiritual. Like when I start losing I have to start now thinking, how do I pray? Because now this is attack. How am I losing? When I cannot get a concept, like I have a week of losing, losing, and I'm not getting a concept, I, I go back to God and I tell God, you gave us Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is a person. He can understand my pain. He can, he has emotions. Uh, God, help, help me to be able to listen. Maybe it's me who is not listening why do I have fear? Imagine people who trade, you have a lot of fear when you're trading. You have fear, you have fear, you don't want to lose money. You have fear, you don't want to make mistakes. You have fear of so many things unknown. And the Bible says that God has not, has not given us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power and sound mind. So anytime you have an experience in the Forex world, if you don't see it as a spiritual or spiritually, 
you may have a hard time realizing what you're dealing with. So for me, the trading concept, these two things, understanding, yes, the market aspect, but still understanding the spiritual aspect really helped me to blend everything. And if you're watching me and... um you're thinking, Esther, what is this? I've not, I've, I mean, they have never done this. I've never done this. But I feel like um, if you're watching me and you have watched to, this is the 20th minute and you don't know God, you have never given your life to God. You have never listened to a pastor. You have never listened to a preacher. Like you have never, and you have never even gone to church. Like this is a wake up call. This is, this is the altar call. I'm, I'm, I'm calling you. Uh, to make that decision is a one minute prayer that we can say together because at the end of the day for me I'm looking and I'm seeing what if you just give God a chance to direct your life and the fact that you're watching me at this time this hour maybe it's at night the fact that you're watching me God wants that life and he wants to take care of you so can you say this prayer with me if you want to be born again if you want that aspect of God in your trading. Yes, I know there's the trading aspect. Yes, I know there's a concept of trading that now it's like uh, it has light your mind, but still there's the God aspect that you still need to push in and you can make it. So I want to do the altar call. And if you want to give your life to God, you see this one minute prayer can change everything. If you do this minute, one minute prayer and rapture happens, I'm telling you, you will not be left behind. You will go. It doesn't matter. The Bible says that as long as you confess with your tongue that Jesus is Lord and is your, and your Savior, you have been born again. So look me in the eye and let's pray and say, Father Lord, um, yeah, you're repeating, you're repeating. So I will be slow. Father Lord, I come before you this moment. I come to you at this moment and I confess I'm a sinner. I confess I have not been living right. I confess I have fallen uh, out of your glory. And I want you, Lord, to rub my name in the book from the book of hell and write my name in the book of life. I want you, Lord, to be my savior, my personal savior. I confess with your with my mouth that today I'm born again and I accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of my life. Amen. If you have done that prayer, you are now born again. You have something from God, the mind of Christ, the wisdom of God, the knowledge. When now you can say, God shall bless the work of my hands, you... you like you have part with God. Anyway, guys, hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have got born again, comment down below. Let me know what is the experience. If you don't know where to begin and uh, you can always WhatsApp me and say, by the way, I gave myself to God. Tell me what to do. Maybe people, maybe you have stayed, you have not, never gone to church. I can give you my link on my church. Our church is on, our church goes online every Sunday. So even if you're international uh, viewer, you can still log in and view us online. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I have to end and I have to leave you with God now. All the best. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Love you.